Crew still at the scene of a house fire in the Pearl Harbor Gardens subdivision. Yeah, Jai live at the scene. He got there early this morning with uh, videographer Bob Kramer. Jai, what is the latest? New details? Hey, good morning. Yeah, you know what the very latest that we can tell you is that four people were home at the time here uh, at 94. 125 Pahu Street. It's right in the middle of Waipahu. It's a very dense sort of subdivision. I'll step out of the way and you can see some of the damage that was done. Now, of the four adults who were home, we're talking about two males and two females. The good news is everyone was able to get out without major injury, but you can see the damage that's been done. That includes a family van uh, that was completely engulfed in fire. Uh, the call came at about 2 a.m. this morning. We're talking about Honolulu Fire Department. About 2 a.m. is when they got the call, and by 2 34, they had that fire out. Now, in this neighborhood, as we said, the homes are very closely bunched together. One other home did suffer some exposure damage from the fire. Uh, firefighters got it out pretty quickly. Now, we talked with the homeowner as to what he saw and heard, and we can tell you this just watching right now, uh, fire investigators just getting on scene right now. Here's what the homeowner had to say about exactly what happened at about 2 a.m. I'm not in the house. I stay outside. With my uh, neighbor, we talk story, and then uh, when I heard my wife yell, we got a fire. I come out and look outside, and my son said, "Dad, you cannot go inside there because the fire is already they, they burn so fast." So I told him, "Okay, you guys get out." So they they never have nothing. Now, we can tell you this also. Hawaiian Electric has been on scene, and power has just been restored. About 10 to 15 homes that were along Pahu Street here, they were without power because they had to cut the power while they were fighting the fire. But now electricity back for them. We will continue to keep you updated all morning long. We're doing it not only here on air, but we've been giving you updates as well on our website at khon2.com and our Wake Up Today section there on that website.